12 girls I am. The meet record in this event is held by Emery Thrasher back in 2015. One minute, four seconds, and 32 hundredths of a second. Lane one, Bailey Allemeyer from Somerville Y. Lane two, Grayson Pitts from Long Point. Lane three, Sophie Lee from Ashboro. Lane four, Margie Moore from Fort Johnson. Lane five, Lillian Heron from Fort Johnson. And lane six, Bryson Shaka from Somerville Watt. So you see Grayson Pitts here in lane two. I used to swim with her brother. He, um, one of the many Charleston area swimmers still swimming at the D1 level for Virginia Tech. Cooper, a good friend of mine. Yeah, I believe he's coaching tonight uh, at another swim meet, actually. Won some state mm -hmm. titles with me and Mr. Silvestri here. <laughs> and boy, she's gone out with a nice, strong lead. I Watch her turn and see if she can hang on to that lead at the wall. As we head to the to the last leg here, Pitts taking the lead, although strong freestyle coming on from Sophie Lee. But it looks like Grayson Pitts has too much of a lead to overcome. And boy, is she going to drop some time there. Huge drop for oh, Grayson. Like a seven That's seconds. A seven second drop. I am especially as a race at this meet where kids can just drop ridiculous amounts of time. Sure. Always fun. Well, they're the most fit that they are of any point in the season right here at the end. So mm -hmm. uh, those 100 races get, are a little bit easier at the end of the season than they are in that first meet of the year. This is heat two. In lane one, we have Ainsley Masterson from Legend Oaks. Lane two, Alyssa Almager from Long Point. Lane three, Mary Catherine Huddleston, James Island. Lane four, Helen Hamilton from Pine Forest. Lane three, Lucy Mettler from Hobcaw. And in lane six, Alexa Bryce from Ashboro. And it looks like our center lanes are taking the butterfly out strong, as is lane one. And watch them come off the wall on their backstroke. You know, I, the thing I love is, is just everyone plays to their strength in the mm -hmm. IM. And, People always say the breaststrokers have an advantage in the IM, and, right. and they do. But uh, you can be really strong in the rest of the strokes and still be a decent IMer. I, I agree. But breaststroke is definitely on most IM races. That's where you'll see the most movement. It is a lot. A lot of kids. It's either their very best stroke or their very worst stroke. And and here we see a, a good example of that, where lane three has just taken off on the breaststroke. Mm -hmm. um, Lane Pretty three. even coming into the wall, but boy, is she strong in that breaststroke leg. That is Mary Catherine Huddleston taking a large lead heading into the final leg. Let's see if she can hold on. Big win for Huddleston in time of 118.08. That will be your new top time. That is a three-second drop for Miss Huddleston. Congratulations to her. And it looks like uh, Lucy Mettler from Hobcaw came in second in that with also about a one-second time drop in that event. So strong for multiple swimmers in that heat. Light it up, Katie. Light it up. Let's go, girls. Have fun. Have fun. So James, when you were a swimmer and you were on the blocks, did you hear people calling your name? It depends. At a meet <laughs> like this, you can sometimes hear it. My, my dad would always pride himself on trying to, like, he would always ask me after race, did you hear me? Did you hear me? <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Generally, as long as you're not annoying the parents around you, I'm fine with it. <laughs> can be a little bit embarrassing for these kids when parents <laughs> compete to be the loudest. Hey, Avery Freeze, first lap. This is heat three of the IM. Lane one, Olivia Ackerman from Legend Oaks. Lane two, Bella Wallen from Northbridge. Lane three, Abigail Kowalski from Crowfield. Lane four, Riley McCarsky from Shadow Moss. Lane five, Sadie Wood of Northbridge. And rounding out the field is Kaylee Burgess. Lane six, okay, Dunes West. Let's go, go. And we saw that uh, lane one really took off uh, in Butterfly, but we're seeing the field come back to her here in Backstroke. 
and see what happens on the breaststroke leg. Interesting, we saw open turns from all six of those servers. At what age do you think it's time to start teaching a kid about a uh, crossover turn or a bucket turn? Well, you know, I think it's it's not so much dependent upon age as it is body awareness. And, right. You know, the kids who have uh, good body awareness and, and early development in that regard, uh, I think they can learn that at a fairly young age. I mean, I've got a swimmer who started doing that when he had just turned nine. But I've got 13-year-olds who aren't ready yet. So um, I think a lot of it just depends upon the swimmer. That makes sense. And winning this seat, it will be... Bella Wallen from Northridge in a time of 117.44. Hey, Avery, please. That's a second and a half time draw for her and the new top time. This is seat four. Lane one, Lily Claypool, Parkshore. Lane two, Laney Crafton, Newington. Continuing with the lane assignments for heat four. In lane three, we have Avery Fries, who we saw earlier. Lane four, Bentley Boyd from Hobcaw. Lane five, Ella Soper from Daniel Island. And lane six, Caitlin Towell from Crowfield. We see Bentley got off the blocks fast. Uh, field's right. coming to back to her now, but boy, did she have a great start. See, the IM, that's where you, you get a little bit, I wouldn't call it a distance race yet, but you see a little bit of the endurance coming into play for some of these kids where you do have to pace yourself a little bit. Ooh, and we have a close race here between Freese and Boyd from Hopcon Stephon heading into the breaststroke. Mm -hmm. Avery in lane three, she's that breaststroke, 11-year-old breaststroker who made it into the final heat and, and into the, the top six finisher, so. And it um, looks like really she is taking on. a bit of a lead over Boyd here as we round the turn. Cutting into the freestyle leg. Avery Freese has the lead. Boyd giving chase. And lane five also coming up. Oh, so cool. Or lane two, sorry. Avery Freese finishing strong with a time of 111.91. That's by far the fastest time of the evening so far. And a second and a half drop for Avery. And the record in this event is 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 pretty quick. I mean, it's a 104.32. That's a that's a nice clip for an 11, 12 year old girl. Yeah, I'm su I'm surprised to have seen because I remember watching. I mean, she was setting these records the year I was coaching, and just so far ahead of the field. I was these records aren't going down forever. Um, Madeline Ruthie actually took one down earlier, and I think Cassidy Lima did too, which is I very impressive. So. Yeah. All right, we've got in uh, lane one, Kennedy Elwood, lane two, Gabby Stotts, lane three, Claire Green, lane four, Linnea Ransford, lane five, Emily Ibsen, and lane six, Lauren Polomsky. This is a lot of year-round swimmers in this particular heat. Um, perhaps a little bit more experience with some of these longer distance races. Right. And there we did see a bucket turn in lane one. <laughs> The IM is interesting because you're seeing a lot of these kids for the third time. So it sort of comes into play how tired you are. And also, when your events are in the race, some of these kids swam fly and free, had a lot of time to rest. Sure. And some of these kids are coming off back-to-back -back races. Yeah, and three, it's four. looking like it will be Kennedy Elwood in lane one, although Claire Green coming on strong. It will be Elwood with a time of 111.29. And that was I a nice race to the finish. I believe that's top time. It's very close between her and Avery Freese. This is your final heat of the 11, 1200 IM. In lane one, we have Eliza Ford from Park Shore. Lane two, your freestyle and breaststroke winner, Cassidy Lima. Lane three, your butterfly winner, Madeline Ruthier. Lane four, no, Ann Thompson won the breaststroke. Trying to remember all no, these names. Uh, no, Ann won the backstroke. Ann won the backstroke. Right. Okay, Cassidy okay. did win the breaststroke. Ann Thompson's in lane four. 
Lane five, Paisley Hodges from James Isle, and lane six, Sammy Kraft. And so here yeah, we it, see Ann coming on with her strength in the backstroke there. Now look for Cassidy to pull ahead in the breaststroke because that's her strength. And Ann's hanging with her pretty well right there. Great race heading in to the 75 wall here between Madeline Ruthier and Ann Thompson here. They turn at the same time heading to the final lap. And here comes Cassidy Lima. That's a nice three-person race to the finish. Oh, lane two, not going away, Lima. Oh. And lane three took it. Lane three, 104.91. That is Madeline Ruthier taking the win by eight hundredths of a second. And that was a beautiful race. I did see some breaths in the flags there, and those are the little things that do matter. Absolutely. If Breath in the flash can be that 800th of a second it difference. It can.